So for today, we're going to be looking at my guardians for the third week of Xur's Exotic Challenge, if I remember correctly. And this one's pretty cool because uh, some of the exotics I hate to use or just rarely use. So this one's going to be very interesting. But as always, if you guys like the video, like, comment and subscribe it really does help the channel grow, it really helps me motivate myself to make more videos. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So. This is my hunter. My hunter is uh, wearing the uh, Shinobu vows, and I actually think it looks pretty cool. Uh, if you guys don't know, Shinobu's vow has orange in it, and my chest piece also has orange in it. That's why I really leaned into the orange, which is why I'm using the Vanguard burnished uh, steel. But let's look at the helmet first. Helmet is the Masquerade helm or cowl. I don't know where you get this, but you can get this from just getting the white version of it. I think it's the white version. I think it's blue actually. Yeah. So you can just get the Shadow Spectre instead if you don't have the the uh the one that I have, the Masquerade's cow. I think this one's from Halloween, like one of the years. So this is definitely a really cool helmet to have. I really like it. Uh very very typical hunter helmet that's why i unlocked it because uh i have a lot of typical uh hunter styles that i really like to lean on for the exotic obviously it's a uh, shinobu's vow there is an ornament for it but i decided to not use it just because uh this is obviously cabal themed and i don't i don't even know anything cabal themed for the hunter aside from this so i just decided i was like no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do cabal themed because like there's no armor for it so like i said the i think the orange here and the orange here do not change color so it does it does and it doesn't at the same time because i can still see the orange in some shaders <laughs> so it just depends on which shader you're using for this one but for the orange here it doesn't change color so i decided instead of like ignoring it just lean into it and really go for an orange that actually goes with it and i think the the uh, vanguard burnished steel really goes well with it uh i'll show you guys where you can get that and the other shader that i'm wearing chest piece is the raptor uh chest piece from halloween it's definitely one of my favorite shade or one of my favorite uh legendary chest pieces right now just because it looks so cool the only negative thing i can say about it is the fact that the orange here the orange here the blue here the blue here and then apparently the red here do not change color or maybe the white here as well so there's a lot of colors that don't change color but they're so minimal that it's like okay whatever most of the time it doesn't really bug me but it does bug me <laughs> the boots are the ver 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 oh my god virulent strides from uh, season of dawn this one was the vice themed armor for the hunters uh, the other classes got other ones as well, which the Titans got Omelon and the Warlocks got a uh, Tex Mechanic, if I remember correctly. This one is one of my favorite boots just because it looks so cool. The only unfortunate thing is you guys already know the, the Vice is green as hell and it doesn't really bug me here just because everything fits really well. It's I will I will say that I did think about using a Vice shader just so it could like go with it but at the end of the day i just decided to ignore it because i do think that uh the padding here goes really well with the padding here and the minimal look goes really well with everything else because like there's not a lot of armor and i just think it looks really good with it and last but not least we got the renegade hood with the different shader so the reason i decided for the Re renegade hood is because i didn't think this needed a cloak uh, I think this looked just really good without it. So let me know what you guys think. I definitely love it. It's definitely one of my favorite shade or one of my favorite uh, looks right now for my hunter. But yeah, I didn't think this needed a hood just because it it already looked good without it. I was thinking about using like maybe this one, but I was like, ah, it's too too Asian themed for like what I'm trying to go for, which is like just not no look at all. Like this is just such a like i look oh my god i i love it i love it because it looks like something like like a random hunter would be wearing in the tower so i definitely love this look the only thing i could really look at that would be a problem for me is like maybe maybe the orange here is a little too distressed so like maybe change the shader to like another vanguard color but then i lose that blue that i really like which is <clears throat> 
why I just kept it to that. Or I, I could probably do something like this, actually. This isn't actually bad at all. Okay, yeah, I'm putting that one on. It's, it, it's, I think it's a lot better. Because again, the orange is just a little too much for me. And the fact that it is distressed and I hate that. If you guys don't know what that means, it basically means that like right here, the orange is very uh, saturated. And like here, here, mostly at the folds, uh, it's losing its color. And that's kind of like irks me. But overall, mm, no. Overall, this is definitely one of the coolest ones I've done so far. Aside from like maybe last week's, because I think that one was uh pretty dope i will have a playlist of this once i get like hit five or i might do it right now so that way if you guys are interested in looking at previous sets then you can look at them but this is definitely one of the coolest hunters so far so so let's look at the titan so this is my titan i oof man let me tell you guys this one was pretty rough for me because it first started with obviously the exotics the line ramparts these are what they're selling this week and immediately started with these i was like i'm gonna wear these because i hate the other two looks because like it's just it really it really holds your hand to like use red especially this one because if you guys don't know uh there's a lot of red spots blue right there black but it also hold like this one specifically tells you you need to wear something with white in it because the white does not change color at all um, and this one, I think the red, there's like a really big red spot right here of the lion and then maybe the numbers. Yeah. The numbers as well. So I was like, fuck it. I'll use this one. Cause like, it doesn't, I, I don't need to change color, but like finding armor that went well with this was a bitch. So then I just decided to use this because, uh, white and red, obviously. So the helmet is from trials of Osiris the first armor set that we got from destiny one and it's definitely one of my favorite helmets i wish i had all of the pieces but i don't unfortunately uh it's definitely one of my favorite armor sets for the titans just because it looks super dope uh the arms are from again the the dinosaur armor from halloween i am loving the dinosaur armor and not only that but with pretty much everything there's an angle to it which is why I went with the armor pieces that I went with. This obviously has uh, points pretty much everywhere in the armor. This has points up here, down here. The actual boots have points right here and a little bit here. And then the, the chest piece even has points uh, right here. So that's why I went with pointy armor. The chest piece is the Devastation, com uh, Devastation Complex armor. This is a chest piece that I really crutch on, unfortunately. I say unfortunately, I love this chest piece. It's one of my favorite chest pieces that the Titans have ever. And this one is from Vanilla Destiny 2. I've been wearing this since De Vanilla Destiny 2, guys. Like, I'll see if I can find a picture of one of my old, tic or not TikToks, one of my old Instagram videos that I've done. Um, and I've been wearing the whole armor set since Destiny 2 because I feel like that's that has been like one of the best armor sets that Bungie has done for Titans. So this one is definitely something I crutch on a little too much. And if I were to change it, I would probably switch it to something like this, maybe just because this does look really cool. It gives it uh, gives off the pointy look as well. Anything with uh, like an edge, I would pretty much wear like this is also like viable because there's a big ass point there. I probably wouldn't wear it because uh. Like the chipping paint right here just really arcs me. But yeah, you get the point. Like I would wear something that's pointy as well. So I'm not gonna switch it out though. Like something like this would be also something I would wear, but I hate this one too because uh, it doesn't cover the, the neck. Uh, boots obviously is the Lion Ramparts with the Rocket Scientist um, ornament. And I like it, it's definitely cool. Uh, if, you, if you're looking to wear this for, you know, for PvP or just because you wear these a lot in PvE, then this is definitely like an armor set that I actually think looks really fucking cool. Like legitimately looks super dope. Uh, I would love to see this in a male Titan just because they'd be bulky as shit. But last but not least, we have the Binary Phoenix, which is a uh, vanilla Destiny 2. As in, this is like one of the very first uh, uh, marks you got in the game, especially like Essentially, this is, these two are from Vanilla Destiny 2, 
and this is actually the chess piece for the binary phoenix and it's basically the same chess piece both just shorter fur and when we get the reset for ada's uh ada's bounties i'm definitely gonna pick up the phoenix strife but that's pretty much it for my titan the shader i am using is also from vanilla destiny 2 it is called the what is it called the suros modular shine it's a very old shader a very very old shader it's right here this one right here and i was thinking about using this one but i decided to use this one just because it had a lot more red and i like i like i like the fact that it had a lot more red don't get me wrong this one's not bad at all it's actually pretty cool as well but I didn't have enough red for me, so that's why I chose this one. So Titans, let me know what you, what you guys think. I think they look super dope, but let's go on with the Warlock and then I'll give you my final thoughts. And for my Warlocks, I have Crown of Tempest. So I have done looks with the Crown of Jewels and the default ornaments. So I decided to lean in with the, with the Hive look, which is kind of unfortunate, but it doesn't matter because this is not my official Hive look because once we get the thorn ornament i am definitely leaning into hive look because i will tell you guys right now i actually hate this chest piece a little so let's look at let's look at each piece first so first and foremost obviously crown of tempest this is like one of the best exotics in the game for warlocks because they basically get their super really fast they get everything pretty fast if they're using their abilities wisely uh but yeah this is the default one i still think this looks super cool it's one of the coolest looking ones they have uh, but also this one is also one of my favorites the only unfortunate part is the crystal does not change color same thing with the crystals in this one does not change color either but i feel like this one's very universal you can use it in pretty much almost everything this one on the other hand you definitely want something a little bit brighter uh for the arms i am using this season's arms the meridian constellation wraps this is from the season pass and i'm using canis coat on it more because i want to match this uh, brownish here this is a little darker but i did really go through almost all of the shaders here just to like see if i can like find something because most of the time you you'll find something that you're just like oh whoa like that doesn't have that color here so unfortunately like this one has a little a more white look so that's why i didn't go with that but i do like this just because the hands would be a lot more dirtier just because you know you're using your hands a lot more so that's kind of like how i justified it for the chest piece we're obviously using the steeple chase vestment this is from the season of the hunt season pass and I love it and hate it. So let's let's talk about why I actually don't like this chest piece. Um, the reason, actually, not even the chest piece, the whole armor set, uh, is because you can't change the bone color. Uh, it's very unfortunate because if they had let us change the bone color, ah, oh, this man, this would have been like one of the coolest exotic or one of the coolest chest pieces for sure. But we can't change it, and it's unfortunate because I, I absolutely hate the fact that you can't change a lot because it's like if it was in a little bit of it i would have been like that's fine whatever but it's like a lot like there's backbone there's hip bone there's neck bone there's necklace bone there's arm bone there's this bone like bro there's so much it's cool don't get me wrong it's just don't ever don't don't do this to me let me change colors bro for the boots, we have the season of the chosen season pass legs. A lot of season pass armor I'm using right now, unfortunately. But I decided to use these chest or this boot, these boots because like it does go well with this. I was trying to go for something like creepy or scary or just something that melded really well. I didn't like this because it looked a little too mechanical. I like the bandages, but too mechanical. Uh, try to go with this and again too mechanical uh, this probably would have been really cool but I'm also already wearing an, a piece from the Iron Banner set so that's why I decided I was like eh, nah, I'm not really in the mood to like match uh, another armor ar armor piece piece I did the, I did I was thinking about this one really hard though this one I was like it looks really good but I don't have it unlocked and I don't want to waste it on just this armor piece so I was like nah fuck it I'll, I'll not do that obviously can't use this one because that's well i mean i could have used this one but i definitely would not have i would rather have wasted uh one of my my synth weaves on this one rather than this one because i would never wear this one um so yeah something creepy was what i was trying to go for but couldn't really find it 
I did decide to use this one, but it was it looked too plain on this look. So that's why I went with this one. I definitely think this is really cool and I'm happy with my decision. Last but not least, we have the Iron Banner for the first season of the Splicer. And I definitely love, love it. Cause it does, it definitely does look really cool with it. And that's pretty much it actually, I don't, there's a, that's it. The, the bond I think looks really dope with it. It definitely goes with the whole look. If I were to tell you like, what's a piece that doesn't go with it, I would probably tell you the boots and then the arms because everything else looks super fire. Uh, definitely cannot wait until I can get my hands on the thorn ornament because the chest piece is gonna be the first thing I replace and then probably switch it out with the arms for this one right here. Cause I feel like I can justify having two jaws more than all of these bones so that's pretty much it warlocks let me know what you guys think titans let me know what you guys think and hunters let me know what you guys think overall i'm very much enjoying the exotic challenge that zer gives me every week uh i also love the name that i came up with it the exotic uh zer's exotic dare uh it's definitely probably one of my smarter ideas because i feel like no one has done that before and i would love to see other content creators uh do it obviously i would love to like love for them to give me credit for it but i mean at this point i would just love to see other content creators other fashion people do this because at the end of the day it really it really really like pushes you to go out of your comfort zone specifically i'm looking at you fucking hunter that are those arms are oh my god that one that one was rough for me but yeah let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll let you see in the description below. I thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.